I'm Nick Roberts. I'm Development Director at Missoula Food Bank. You know, we're, we're struggling to meet the, the higher volume of clients while also experiencing the food and fuel cost increases. Almost half of all the food that comes into our store is from the Food Rescue Program meaning the Costco visits, the Albertsons, the Art Street Food Farm, the UM Catering, the Pizza Hut, the China Buffet, those regular partners that we go to to collect both perishable and non-perishable food. There's a, a company in town that um, has been donating a, an amount of money towards our fuel that up until recent months has been enough to cover most if not all of our fuel costs in terms of going out and collecting the food for, with our refrigerator truck or, or reimbursing our volunteers who do daily pickups for us as well. But it's not enough anymore. I would say, frankly, the majority of these cases are working folks. They're not folks that are laid off or, or homeless or, you know, or have you know, extraordinary circumstances. We're talking about everyday working families that just can't make enough or more just like you and I or our neighbors or our co-workers or our, our family members. My name's Liz Bishop. I've been coming here to volunteer, gosh, I don't even remember, probably seven years. And probably been coming for food, probably about that long. I uh, went on disability because of health problems, and I had to come here when I first came to Missoula. My husband got sick, so I had to go on food stamps. Like I tell them when I'm showing them the list, this is, there's a lot of us that need help in this area, but there are people and places you can go get help. You're never made to feel like you're dirt or below them or anything. Because those of us that volunteer know we're here to help. The fact that it looks like a store, I think makes it easier for most people that can, are having a hard time dealing with this to come. And it's a community. client come in several weeks ago and was explaining his family's reality and they were a working family uh, both he and his wife were working and they had two or three kids and he was explaining to me that he was having this unbelievable dilemma of having to choose between putting gas in his car to go to work or buying food for his family if he chooses to get put gas in the car he can't buy the food or if he chooses to buy the food he can't put gas in his car to go to the job, which enables him to buy the food. So that's where we come in. We're, we're putting Band-Aids on a much bigger wound um, than what we're able to, to really address. And it's concerning. We saw I, what I think is an all-time high uh, of visits to our food bank in April of this year. People are stepping up. We have a lot of community support. Um, at least we're not yet at the point where we have to look at it, look at our future in terms of let's serve this number of people next month. We're not doing that. Um, don't know when it will come to that, and I hope it doesn't.